This is the part that people, and I know why it's knowing people. You look at a guy like Dana White, who's in a very influential position. This is going to make a lot of people uncomfortable, but what he said was actually factual from this perspective. What exactly is it that you're going to do? He can walk away, okay? I saw... Um, you keep him away from, no, no, from no, his job, no, no. from the sport, right. from, from his job that he loves. That's fine. And, and, and he was telling you he'd be fine with it. Because it's a privilege to be the face of a company. I understand that. I'm saying to you what he said yesterday is that he's going to be fine regardless. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is this. Then so for the second time, first take address Dana White committing an act of domestic violence. I think they went very easy on him. And that's and I say that because. They don't go easy on people. This after their first go around where Ariel Hawani condemned their soft approach. When, when Kyrie does something, I, I, I know that Stephen A has relationships with NBA players. He keeps it real. He tells it like it is. And to see them with the puppy dog face saying, I love Dana White and he's got a beautiful family and we, we don't judge him in his lowest moments. We don't judge people in their lowest moments. Excuse me. That's all we do. But when I saw that, I was like, all right, what you're telling me is if you're friends with the guy, you're going to give him a pass. Thus, here was round two. In a society right now where there's a, a level of accountability that people are craving for. Yeah. But who's going to exact that accountability? It, it, it I don't to, know no, the answer to that question. This. Let's pause for a second. This is not hard. Okay. The accountability aspect, it comes from Endeavor. Now, we brought to you yesterday... There is a conflict of interest here with Stephen A. Smith because ESPN's highest paid pundit, he too is rep by Endeavor, which owns the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Smith's employer, as you well know, is the exclusive rights holder of the UFC. This is important because Smith is towing the line without calling out his representation. Thus, watch the reaction when Molly Kiram brings this up to him. It, it needs to be Endeavor because he has a boss. Okay. This is a man who knows where his bread is buttered and thus the coverage from him remains soft. And sadly, Smith suggested via the NYP that White punish himself for his atrocious actions on New Year's Eve in Cabo San Lucas, which is odd. Why have a person who did the criming punish themselves? When Dana White addressed the media, Ariel Hawani broke it down further. Yeah, well, I mean, what should the repercussions be? You tell me. I take 30 days off. H how does that hurt me? Pause for a sec. I mean, I told this you guys. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. He shouldn't be the one punishing himself. He shouldn't be the one answering the question on what the punishment should be, in my opinion. That should be to someone who is in a position to make these calls. You don't ask someone who committed the quote unquote crime what they think the punishment should be. That's not how it works. That's not how it's ever worked in any walk of life. More from First Take. So Stephen A, if we're saying that if fighters get X amount of punishment, and I looked it up, there isn't a standard policy with the UFC, and I've said this before at the NFL, <clears throat> there should be a hard and fast rule with gambling and PEDs, and there also right. should be when you violate a woman. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing here. And, and they have to create a policy, if they have to look at what happened with fighters in the past, and it has to be more severe from the simple fact that he's in a leadership role, he's the face of the company, and what comes with that. Respect where it's due, this was sound from Molly Kiram. I got it. And my response to that is fine. But then people should be talking about that. Yeah. They shouldn't be looking at Molly and Steve and they're oh, you, you, your tenor and your tone and it wasn't aggressive enough. What do you want me to say? Clearly, Stephen A has heard the noise and he's not pleased. On the what do you want me to say front, Ariel has an answer for you. They don't go easy on people. They're the truth tellers. They're the ones who keep it real. I can assure you as a Knicks fan and as someone who likes that show and respects Stephen A tremendously, if James Dolan is on camera doing that exact same thing, is he saying the same thing? Is he saying you punish him the way you would punish your players? Or is he saying this man needs to go? This man needs to be held accountable. This man needs to be punished. What do you think? As Brandon Contez would write for Awful Announcing, no one expects Stephen A. Smith to personally hand Dana White a punishment after the UFC president slapped his wife on camera. But if Smith is going to address the issue, then he needs to address it without bias. Stephen A. also questioned whether any 
Formal discipline from the UFC would be productive. The disclosure of their friendship and relationship is important, and it's something ESPN's audience needs to be aware of. But when Smith follows touting their friendship by claiming White should determine his own punishment or that public shame and ridicule is enough of a penalty, then credibility on the issue is lost. But we, we condemn and domestic violence is egregious, it's unacceptable, it shouldn't happen, and he shouldn't be able to exact his punishment. And so many people make poor decisions or get involved with the law, and they don't get to say, hey, my shame's enough. No, you face punishment in addition to that, and that should happen here. And he has a boss, and that is Endeavor, and I expect them to hand something. And to that we say it remains to be seen.